This is CONCACAF Video Signals, a Wednesday, March 25th edition. Today on Video Signals, we start our daily previews of this weekend's World Cup qualifying action by taking a closer look at Trinidad and Tobago and Honduras. We'll see what's going on with U-17 football. Let's take a trip around the Confederation and finish the show with the CONCACAF quiz. We start with the final round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Match day two is this Saturday with three crucial games. Mexico will host Costa Rica at the Azteca in Mexico City. Mexico is busy preparing at their Centro de Alto Rendimiento, while Costa Rica gets ready for their flight north. El Salvador will welcome the USA to San Salvador, where the Coscatlecos have not defeated the Americans since February 19, 1992. Today, we preview the Trinidad and Tobago Honduras tilt, a game that will be played at the Hazley Crawford Stadium in Port of Spain. Trinidad and Honduras have met on five previous occasions in World Cup qualifying, with the Central Americans holding a 2-2-1 advantage. Their last World Cup qualifying meeting was on October 7, 2001 in San Pedro Sula, a 1-0 win for Trinidad on a goal scored by Stern John. Trinidad has not beaten Honduras at home in a World Cup qualifier in two matches. The Trinidadians have a 4-win, 3-tie, 2-loss overall record in qualifying for South Africa 2010, scoring 14 goals while conceding 10. In their first match of the final round, they let a 2-goal lead slip away at El Salvador in a 2-2 tie, a game which resulted in Captain Dwight York getting a 4-match suspension from FIFA. TNT is 2-1-1 at home in World Cup qualifying during this cycle. Keep an eye on electric forward Jason Scotland of Swansea City from the English Football League Championship, where he has scored 18 goals thus far this season. Honduras has a 5-1-3 overall record in qualifying for South Africa, scoring 15 goals while allowing 9. They are in last place in the final round, tied with Mexico after losing their opener 2-0 at Costa Rica on February 11th. The Central Americans have one victory in five World Cup qualifying away games, a 2-1 triumph over Canada on September 6th. Keep your eye on midfielder Wilson Palacios, who joined England's Tottenham Hotspur from Wigan for more than 12 million pounds. Tomorrow, Video Signals will preview the El Salvador-USA game. In news from teams preparing for the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship, Mexico's U-17s tied Mexican second division side Salamanca 1-1 in a friendly played yesterday in León. Cruz Azul's Martin Galvan scored for El Tri in the 72nd minute. Today, the U.S. will look to make it two wins in three days when it squares off against Argentina at Deportivo Italiano in Buenos Aires. Now, let's go around the Confederation. The CFU Club Champions Cup, the Caribbean qualifying competition for the 2009-2010 Champions League, continues today with first round, second leg play. W Connection of Trinidad returns home to the Manny Ramjohn Stadium with a 5-0 advantage against Center Bath Estate of Dominica. In Moengo Tapo, Suriname, Inter squares off against CSD Barber of the Netherlands Antilles. The home side holds a two-goal advantage. First round, second leg play continues on Sunday and Monday. And that completes our brief trip around the Confederation. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you could name the team Honduras' Amado Guevara played for in Spain. Thanks to everyone who responded. Guevara played for Real Valladolid during the 1995-96 season in Spain. Today's question brings us to the Trinidad and Tobago national team. Trinidad's outstanding forward Stern John scored an amazing 26 goals in 27 regular season games for a major league soccer team in 1998. Can you name that team? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at concacaf.org before 12 p.m. New York time tomorrow. Those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. Well, that's all for today. Please remember to check the CONCACAF website for all your World Cup qualifying news. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF news.